save us is God. It's only God that can show mercy will save us. Because it's a terrifying thing to fall in the hands of the living God. I prefer to offend Satan that when Satan is chasing me, I will run to God. But when I offend God, when Satan is chasing me, and when God runs, is coming after me, who will save me? No one. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, God so loved us so much, that's why he gave the, the children of Israel this promise. We are the seed of Abraham. We are the children of Israel. We are God's people. We are God's choosing one. So this promise also belongs to me and you today. When some situation strikes somebody, instead of not taking, you yourself, if you did not really know God, you will curse God. Are you hearing it? You will curse God because especially when you are doing the will of God, but situation is still striking you. Pain is still striking you. Defeat is still striking you. Limitation is still striking you. When you think all oh, 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 hope is coming to our life, before you know, something will still strike that faith. But in all, the name of our Lord will still be praised. Despite the limitation, despite the pains, despite the trouble, despite the difficulties and the situation, despite the failure, despite whatever it may be, the name of God will still be praised because why? He's God by himself. He's God alone. We cannot question him. No wonder Job wife said, curse God and die. Job refused to curse God because he know his redeemer leave it. When we look at the situation of Job, nobody will ever believe that Job will surely stand again in life. When you look at the difficulties of Job, Job, nobody will believe that Job will ever become human being again. Satan bombard Job left and right. He strike everything, take all Job out. He striking with infirmity, with disease in his body. But Job still believe in God. Who, oh, in this time now, we go through those kind of difficulties that will not cause God. Who, oh. in Job and David's situation, nobody ever believed that David will become king of Israel. The hardship and shame that man went through in Israel, David will become king. Nobody will ever believe it. But in all. Oh, God still give David victory. So today I am talking to me and you that despite our difficulties, despite what we are facing, God know your challenges. God know your heart broken. God know. Give it up to God. He's only in the can set you free. No pastor can set you free. Nobody can set you free, people of God. If you like, go with them day and night. Do whatever they ask you to do. All the instructions they are not seeing in this world. Do it. If you are not right with God, you can never be free. Are you hearing me? Right with God means that love him with all your heart. Believe him that he alone is your redeemer. Are you seeing it? He said, cause be on them that put their trust on men. A lot of us, we are on that cause of God. Because why? We put our trust in men. The men only need your money. They lie to you and take what God has given to you to feed your children, to live well, to buy good clothes. They take it from your hands and lie to you and give you lies. Are you seeing it? If you go back to this Bible verse, that is what Jesus said. John said, yeah. If you look at it, he said, he said, no one who keep on seeing has either seen him or know him. He said, little children, that is what I'm looking for. Little children, let no one deceive you. Are you seeing it? Let what? No one, no one deceive you. A lot of believers, they have been deceived. Have you seen it? As I'm talking to you now, 
a lot of people don't want to hear Nico Nigeria pastors. That name is like poison in their ear. Because why? They have been deceived by pastors. Those that have washed their eyes when they can give you some good prophecy, but they have no solution. The only one that has solution is Jesus Christ. Despite the pains you are going, he said, persevere. Persevere. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient and know that I am what? I am God. Brothers and sisters, I am a woman of sorrow. I am a woman of pain. I know what pain look like. I know what sorrow look like. I understand when people is talking about pain. I know how you feel. I know how your mind want to spark, want to burst. I know how your heart is paining you. I know how your body is feeling. Despite it all, give glory to God. Because he created you. You are not the only one going through this, brothers and sisters. Are you hearing me? Cloth is covering so many things. Many people, when they remove their cloth, you will shock. Oh my God, you will scream. You will still thank God, Father, thank you. I am better than this person. Hallelujah. Don't look at people from far. And think you are useless. Your life is full of miserable. You are not useless. Many people want to be like you. Are you hearing me? People want to be like you, but you want to be like somebody. Never be like anybody. Be who God wants you to be. Only if you believe, you will get there. It will take time. 